from <laughs> what mess of a situation to I don't know what on earth this article was. Uh, did I, I know we talked about it? John Chaco wrote an article in Sportico for some reason. For some reason, can uh, you you had something you said before we started recording? I, I want you to repeat. Yeah, definitely. Like when I was reading it, um, like it, for me, it came out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, okay, I decided to write a his own opinion piece, his own feature. Let me let me like I want the details, right. and he kind of just like kept building up to something that never actually came that yeah, yeah. there were so many things saying about, Oh, you know, leadership is hard and that's okay. And um, these are how the things go. Here's my experience with everything. And then it's like, okay, all right, just tell us how you really feel, John. And the article just kind of ends. I, yeah, I feel like I didn't get anything to be honest. Like I, I just felt it was in a way, it was felt kind of dull because like, okay, you know, it's kind of, as you said, like it's the start of like this really nice feature piece. That's absolutely just going to, he's going to unload everything that happened with the coyotes. And it starts with, you know, him being a leader. And it's like, I only got about him being a leader. I didn't get everything else. Like in a way to me, it felt as if this was his like, okay, I'm ready to come back. It was that dull that the NHL, uh, uh, the owners and executives ate that up. I yeah, know, it I was just. I, me. I, I, I don't know if that. that was just me. Because the first few parts were like, all right, he's gonna really dig into the ma- um, Coyotes' mat. You know, um, that idea of like two guys are about to have a fist fight, mm-hmm. and then they keep just circling each other, but they don't actually like do anything like until yeah. like you know like when the crowd goes around them, it, and it's, then it, like yeah. and then like they. The guy's like, okay, why don't I take the first hit or like take the first hit? And then like people are like, okay, they're not going to do anything. Just like disperse. I kind of felt like it was like with this article where I, it started off like, okay, like what are the details he's going to tell us about? Because I've been waiting for this perspective for so long. Like he kind of just had these really empty statements and then he confirmed that he was talking to another team. And then that was the main thing people were kind of focusing on. Not really like, not, under, not really on like before he went, do you remember like the, the amount of trades and signings he did to try to get the Coyotes to somewhere? I wanted to know more about that, where it just that kind of went off his path about the whole analytics thing, where you know we're gonna have these guys set here and we're gonna see how things go. Like suddenly he's getting all these guys, like a Taylor Hall, a Phil Kessel, and I don't know. We never got any closure with this, and I don't think we will because it's the NHL. But for me, it's just it's just kind of like here now where I'm looking at it more how you said it, where it's that appeal to management saying like he still wants to work in hockey. But there is still a bit of a semblance saying like, hey, this was what the case was when I was in the Coyotes. Yeah, because he didn't throw anybody under the bus. I, I, when I read that article, I didn't think he threw anybody under the bus uh, within the NHL. But what I did feel like he did was he's like, you know, I've learned from my mistakes, you know, you know, I know I got suspended for a year and I lost the coyotes a first and a second round pick because of draft shenanigans, but I've learned from my mistakes and, you know, I'm ready to come back into the NHL. Like I just, I read it about three times and I'm like, I don't know what he, he was trying to get across in this article me me as well because it's crazy to look back i'm like barrett hayden technically cost them two first round picks in a third if like we're thinking back on that draft combine where it's like he was probably the guy they were doing this for yeah just you know we don't know for sure we're just thinking about that but yeah i don't know like i think yeah he's inching to come back and he just i don't know he could have done it a different way I think um, I think it would have been nice if he actually spoke out and then an article afterwards comes out because I don't know, like it's, it, it felt kind of flat for me. Oh, it was very, it was like the flattest article. Yeah. It, could have, it could have been like, there was just no substance to it. It's like, okay, I'm still working at Wendy's. If it's like, if the NHL, if, Hey, NHL, if you guys don't want me, I'll just uh, be running my 13 Wendy's locations. 
It's yeah. Like a, okay. okay. Cool. <laughs> it's like awesome. Thanks. Thanks for letting us know. 